Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, I am going to be talking today about these. These are the new Baron Fig Prismatic Archer Pencils. So this is the box that we get. Kind of looks a little bit like 90s Saved by the Bell style. <laughs> That's I think what I wrote in my review. Um, yeah, so it says here, Ideas are the building blocks of great endeavors. What starts as something small may one day change the world. I think maybe like a small beam of light can go through a prism and uh, expand into a whole uh, list of colors. So, um, yeah, this is the prismatic pencils. Uh, again, made in Portugal. So, um, we'll get into these and see that we've got three different colors here and i actually have one sharpened up so we'll take a look at it first cedar and you got a light blue with uh cylinders on it they all have this kind of same like bluish purple end dip um you got red that has uh pyramids and then you have yellow, which is kind of hard to see the white versus the yellow and the and uh, the light blue. But uh, these have cubes, so um, yeah, these are really all really cool. Um, I will say uh, right off the bat that these are the standard Archer core, um, so like the core from this archer pencil um, it's the same it's not as soft or brittle as the uh, the core from the snakes and ladders pencil so I know that I uh, gave that one a bad review and had some problems with the uh, core on that pencil and uh, but this, this uh, pencil does not have that problem. So uh, what I like about these pencils, uh, they're very light. They write really well. They work perfectly with Baron Fig paper. Uh, the one thing, like, cosmetically that I have an issue with is just the fact that it, the imprint, or it's actually just paint, is really light versus on these two versus this. One. I would almost like to see a bigger contrast on the, uh, especially on the yellow. Maybe like use this color on there instead. I don't know. I mean, it's just a, just an idea. Um, also, <laughs> how cool would it have been if you got uh, this one had was a round pencil, this one was a triangular uh, pencil instead of a hex, and this one was a square pencil. How cool would that have been? I think that would have been really awesome. However, uh, that would have cost a lot of money. But I'm still waiting for a triangle pencil from these guys. I think that would be really awesome. I wonder if their, uh, their uh, manufacturer has the ability to do that because I think that would be really cool. Um, love the wood. It's, it's cedar. It smells real good when you open the box or the tube. I pulled uh, just the top off the tube and pulled one out and I just got blasted in the face with cedar. So gotta love that. Um, other than that, yeah, these write really well, just like a regular standard archer. Um, they are definitely tuned for the Baron fig paper. I would say, uh, more so than any other pencils. Uh, they do very well on the Baron fig paper and don't do super, like, they, they just write a little bit lighter than they normally would on, say, something like this that I've been carrying and using a lot, this Field Notes. Uh, it writes on this Finch White Smooth paper, which uh, is the standard paper now in the Field Notes, I believe. Um, let's see, yeah, Finch, Finch Paper Opaque Smooth Bright White, 60 pound. Uh, it just... it these pencils write a little bit lighter on that paper than they would on something like a confidant or, um, a Vanguard. So I tend to like only use the Baron fig archer pencils with Baron fig paper, um, because they are perfectly tuned for each other. So, uh, so I, I just, I usually like to use like softer pencils with the field notes because anything that writes kind of hard, doesn't do well on this kind of coated 
paper. And I say it's coated. It just feels like the graphite's not getting quite into the page because it is really smooth. Unlike the uh, Confidant paper and the Vanguard paper, which are uh, somewhat rough or toothy. So uh, what I like to do is if I find an HB pencil that I'm writing with that doesn't necessarily give me the darkish line that I'm looking for or feels a little light on the paper, um, I'll try that in a Confidant or a Vanguard and see if that gives me what I'm kind of looking for. And nine times out of ten it does. Um, and I try to, I tend to avoid using softer pencils on a Vanguard or a Confidant because it just chews them up. So I use, you know, with glossy paper or, you know, I say glossy with, with paper that seems to be smooth, I use soft pencils and with paper that seems to be, uh, really kind of like toothy, like the Baron Fig paper, I, I like to use an HB uh, or maybe a B sometimes. Uh, never, I never use F pencils or anything like that, but um, very rarely, anyway. Uh, so yeah, I really like these pencils. They're really cool. Uh, just another entree into their... Uh, this is the second shipment. Second shipment of their limited edition subscriber year. So, so far, we've gotten the Snakes and Ladders. And now these. So I actually want to see if these are close match color wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they are. I think they could be exactly the same color. So yeah, anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up on the, if you liked the video and uh, hit the subscribe button. I believe it's down there. And uh Check out more videos. we got more coming all the way. Um, I have some notebooks to review that are coming. And this week is probably going to be big for videos and other such things because in blog posts because uh, we've got the these Archer pencils coming out. Uh, I should be uh, reviewing soon the uh, new Blackwing pencils that are coming out. Field notes are coming soon. The new write notepads are coming soon. So there's a lot of stuff. Plus, I've just uh, been in contact with like three or four uh, people that have emailed me to try to get me to review some of their uh, notebooks. So I've got a lot of things on the docket. And uh, so the rest of this month and into July should be uh, should be pretty. There should be a lot of stuff to to look at. Let's put it that way. So all right, thanks a lot. <laughs>